hello everybody welcome to the next video session on the topic oxygen absorption let us make a quick a quick uh, remembering of how corrosion we know that uh, corrosion means the deterioration or the destruction of materials um, it's mainly of two types of that corrosion and uh, um, high corrosion that corrosion is mainly taking place in the presence of uh, uh, the moisture of the water if the presence of um, oxygen is not sufficient for the corrosion there the corrosion is taking place by the evolution of hydrogen that is the topic which discussed on the last day in this session or in this video i am going to discuss the corrosion technique which is taking place by absorption of oxygen which is a type of wet corrosion let us move to that okay so first of all um, in, in the on the previous video we have two mediums that is acid medium and an alkali medium here also we have to discuss the acid medium and alkali medium but uh, the main difference in acid medium and alkali mediums are the anode reaction is always same but the cathode reaction is something different let us make a quick review on this okay the first one is this is occurs when metals are in contact with water just note it this the metals are in contact with metals with water having dissolved oxygen this is the main point dissolved oxygen in acidic or even in neutral environment acidic environment low neutral environment low or water like moisture might be contact to very game a contact moisture contain the oxygen in dissolved form there the oxygen absorption corrosion taking place in acidic medium let us discuss the figure in the previous figure or the hydrogen evolution corrosion here um, the in hydrogen evolution corrosion the anodic area is large and the cathodic area is small but in oxygen absorption corrosion the main difference is that the cathodic area is large you can see that here the cathodic area is large and the anodic area is small you can see that the here the anodic area is small now the figures are same you can see this is the borderline or the surface we can say that every metal surface will be coated by an oxide Filling. Oh, there is an oxide coating is present and above metal surface. That or in sometimes uh, in some way we can see that that oxide layer protect that metal from corrosion or the exposure of metal with moisture or the atmosphere. You got it? so in this situation oh this situation is generated or developed when some in some part in somewhere that oxide film get destructed or it's get eliminated you can see that this your part in the oxide film eliminate here or maybe due to some actions or some abrasion, a particular oxide layer Which means, this part of the hydrogen oxygen in the absorb Oxygen absorb that is known as 
oxidation. So that and then this oxide filling layer get removed or loosed. That area will behave like anode. You can see that this is a small part where this oxide filling layer or the coating is loose. So that layer behaves like anode carrier. So that's why this anodic area is small and that of cathodic area is large. We can see easily, we can see that the reactions are same. In every cases, this oxidation reaction reactions are same, which is the metal ion is converted to metal is converted to metal ion. So we can say that here the if uh, the metal is ion. Here I am taking the uh, example as I am. This uh, metal, this is metal, that is Fe gives Fe2 plus plus 2 electron. That is the on. Here it is clear that small anodic area caused by cracks in the oxide film by corrosion occurs. We can say that this oxidation, whenever be the oxidation occur, that is the place at which, place at which? Corrosion occurs because that is corrosion is oxidation, oxidation taking place at an anode. So this small area behaves like anode and the large area behaves as cathode, which means from this when be the uh, anode the reaction that is Fe is converted to Fe2 plus, some electrons are eliminated, and that electrons you can say uh, here. Okay, just a sec. Um, you can see these electrons will move to the cathodic area. And this cathodic area is exposed with water. And do, from this acid medium or water be the medium, to, using that electrons it eliminate hydrogen. Sorry, that uh, taking place the reactions. Let us discuss the reactions. The first reaction is the anode reaction. We know that if we give a few 2 plus plus 2 electrons, this is the anode reactions. We know the cell potential value that is minus 0 0.44. When the electrons will uh, get back to um, this cathodic area, this cathodic area is always uh, exposed to the atmosphere or the moisture consist con solution and that uh, moisture contain H plus ions. So, and also oxygen is dissolved in that water. So, we can see that this oxygen combined with the H plus and 4 electrons, it, it form two water molecules. It form two water molecules. So, that is the cathode reaction. Anode reaction is Fe gives Fe2 plus plus 2 electron and the cathode reaction is 2H2O, 2 O2 plus 4H plus plus 4 electron gives 2H2O, that is cathode reaction and the reaction is E0, its potential value is 1.231. Here this is a lower value, so it undergo oxidation. And the other uh, reaction is the large, that is, is undergo reduction, is undergo reduction. Next is here uh, or the from the two reaction. This is uh, Fe is converted to Fe2 plus. I am naming this reaction as one. Or in the first reaction, this ion is converted to Fe2 plus. But there is an another thing. If Fe2 plus in this reaction is again converted to Fe3 plus. Why? Because Fe2 plus to Fe3 plus conversion, the cell potential value is 0 0.77, which is lower than the actual cathode reaction. That is, if a 1.23 volt on um, the cell potential value. If this reaction is lower potential, so this reaction is taking place. And this take reaction is also taking place because after this, this the formed Fe2 plus is again form reaction from um, electrons uh, Fe3 plus ions. So um, this uh, due to this um, here and uh, another that I repeat under Fe2 plus produced here can further oxidize to Fe3 plus in acid or neutral environment since oxygen electrode potential is greater than E0. That is Fe3 plus value is greater than that of 
sorry lower than that of okay next is uh, this is in so uh, we can call this i make it is all its po points the fe3 plus produced forms an insoluble precipitate with water is, is the precipitate of fe oestrays which is called the yellow rust if the amount of moisture is less or the existed amount of uh, water is less the formed it will form feo dot fe2 o3 compound familiar fe2 o3 combine you can write it it's like fe3 o4 then rust in the brain the rust formed leads to intense localized corrosion if figure in the ghana once he parana sadhana corrosive and i carry him this is the rest i will note it it's uh, using an another ink this i am using its uh, red ink if a corrosion not on the carry in the in the pattern or ammo due to this um here uh he parana corrosion not the able wind he protect your area like a side like a mari mari pool which means again there is new surfaces is big will began to form and that will expose the water again our part will wind and wind and corrosion not happen, which means intense formation or the lead so intense localized corrosion is taking place so that intense localized corrosion is known as pitting corrosion that is known as what's that pitting corrosion it is known as pitting corrosion so maybe there is a question asked what you mean by pitting corrosion so just to write the procedure or the mechanism and the diagram of oxygen absorption corrosion the precipitate adhered area is not in contact with oxygen called the anodic area and the iron oxidized and um and here the iron oxidized and pits are from kuri i to varun karna wind wind nadana emal avar thana production nadakkum oxygen contacting area is called uh, cathodic area Okay, in the uh, the same thing, oxygen absorption corrosion in alkaline medium. Are. Here the anode reaction is same. Fe gives Fe2 plus plus two electron. That is minus 0 0.44. Here the oxidation anodic and uh, reduction reaction is different. O2 plus H2O plus here alkaline medium. Upon the water, which is will explain the O2 plus two H2O plus four electron gives four OH minus. Here the value is 0 0.0. 0 0 0.40 volt so maybe there is a question may be asked if a mechanism same than you if we if we to plus item are the electrons the cathode like my kitty you know and that electron is absorbed by the water containing oxygen will form for oil minus so in acid medium we can see that this formed fe2 if is convert the formed fe2 plus is again converted to fe3 plus but here this is that's not taking place here, um, Fe2 plus produced here cannot further oxidize to Fe3 plus in basic environment since electrode potential is lesser than E0 value of Fe3 plus. That is, Fe3 2 plus 2 Fe3 plus conversion the value in the bar in the here the value is 0 0.77 volt. So, it's it which is greater than that of oxygen, uh, the cathode reaction. Normally, either reaction this reaction will be behaves like a, a cathode reaction, and this is the anode reaction. So, if the reaction the empty reverse reaction the reverse reaction the Fe3 plus and the Fe2 plus and the Fe2 plus, but this reaction or this section is non spontaneous. This reaction is non-spontaneous. So that's about oxygen absorption corrosion. Thank you.